Hey guys, I'm Jody with Board Game Perspective, and I have Josie here today. She wanted to say hi to everybody. Um, so, uh, you might be wondering why there are a lot of blank uh, cubes back here, and that is because <clears throat> I am going to be doing a few videos of Shelf of Opportunity. Uh, so, there are a lot of games in our collection that have not been played yet. So. For, I know a handful of y'all know, know the backdrop of Board Game Perspective, the story. So we uh, were given at least 200 games from our brother when he passed away because he's the one that got us into gaming and he wanted us to take over his game collection. So a lot of the games we have, well, a handful of the games we have not played yet, um, and but we have played some. Um, and then I've acquired some games that I still need to play. So it's a, a mixture of kind of all of the above. So we're going to do it in different parts because there are quite a few uh, games that fit this category of games we haven't played yet that are on our shelves, uh, need to get played. I want to play them. Um, it's been a little more difficult because uh, we've had... Uh, a fair amount of review games coming in, so it's been hard to play some of our games. And then I've had some of my games that, or some of the games that are my brothers that I'm not like as super excited about, but like I don't want to sell them or part them yet because I want to give it a play to try. So there's a lot of those. Um, and a lot of those are actually more in our back room storage. Uh, the ones that I'm like super excited about, I tend to put out back here or the other shelf in the living room. So, okay, so we're, this is part one. Okay, guys, this is part one. So uh, fasten your seatbelts because uh, there are lots of games to talk about. So part one is just this unit we have here. Uh, we're just gonna talk about those games. Um, there are a lot of games to talk about. So, you know what, let's just get started right into it. So. Let's jump straight into uh, Merv, uh, The Heart of the Silk Road by Osprey Games. I, oh, I'm just dying to play this game. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to get around to it eventually. Um, first of all, this cover, I just love it. It just draws me in. I'm like a big Christmas freak. So uh, anything red and green just like jumps out at me. I know it's not a Christmas game, but that's just me. Um, and uh, I've heard some pretty decent things about this game. I'm really excited to try it. Uh, so I think this was a Christmas present. <laughs> Christmas, yeah, of course. Of course it was a Christmas present um, last Christmas. Um, so I haven't gotten it to the table yet because <laughs> we've had a lot of review games we've been having to do. So um, hopefully this will get played soon because I really want to play this one. Okay. So that was just one. Here we go. Let's let's get into uh, Tack or Talk Tack. I'm not sure. A beautiful game. Uh, you know what? I don't know why we haven't played this. I actually I actually got the rules out and read it one time. We were about to play it and then something happened. I don't know. I don't remember what, but we ended up not playing it. Um, I actually got this for Justin a long time ago. Um, because, you know, he likes abstract games, wooden pieces. So, uh, we haven't got around to playing it. We, we will. Um, I'm just not sure when. Um, but, I mean, it's a really pretty game. I mean, just a lot of wood pieces. I mean, that, we're kind of suckers for those. So, um, we'll see. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So, let's pull out Seasons. Sorry, I've got... Because Josie was up here, there's cat hair everywhere and it's driving me nuts. Okay, so Seasons uh, was one of my brother's games. Um, I actually think he picked this up at a one of those like yard sale things that our bo local board game store had. Um, and I think I actually was there with him. Anyway, uh, so I really want to play this game. I know I'm going to like it. I mean, it has you know, big chunky dice. Let me see if I can, without making everything spill, uh, it's kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see the back. Um, I honestly don't really know too much about it. All I know is I've heard good things about it. I think I'm going to like it. Um, it's actually been played at our house a couple times, but 
whenever we've had game nights in the past, uh, one of our friends has played this and taught it to people, but I ended up teaching another game. So like, it's been played in the house, but hasn't been played by me yet. So <laughs> I'm going to play it. Um, and I, I, I just I know I'm going to like it. I like a lot of games. That's kind of problematic. Okay, so let's uh, talk about this one here. This is an expansion to, let's see, is there a glare? Maybe I should, there we go. This is an expansion to Memoir 44. Um, Justin and I love Memoir 44. And uh, when we saw this, we're like, ooh, we definitely need to try get this one with a bunch of planes and stuff. Um, I still, we've both been kind of dying to play Memoir 44. So hopefully we get this out soon. I've, I want to get my friend to uh, paint these because the, all the planes are just, you know, gray. But I want to get my friend, she loves like painting. Uh, she wants to get into miniature painting. So I'm like, ooh, I got some subject material for you. Um, so, yeah, you know what, let's just, let's just look real quick. I think, although maybe not, this box is really sticky. Ah, whatever. I was going to show you them, but there's just a bunch of gray planes. So I'm really excited to, to try this uh, with planes. So, yeah, we love Memoir 44. Okay, guys, uh, let's, you know what, let's pull this one out. Let's pull out Root here. So this actually uh, was very recently added to our collection. Um, I have been torn for, about this one for really kind of since it came out. I know there's so much buzz about it. You know, it's like constant Instagram because the little critters are like constantly on Instagram. Um, you know, and I, woodland creature critters, like, yeah. Um, the biggest reason I haven't pulled the trigger on this in the past is because it's asymmetric. I haven't played a whole lot of asymmetric games and I'm like, I do a lot of teaching for uh, games for our friends and, you know, I was like, I don't want to have to teach, you know, all kinds of different factions and make sure everyone knows how to play and I, it just sounded chaotic. But uh, because I had, okay, so I played Merchant's Cove late, lately and I've really enjoyed just the asymmetric, uh, you know, gameplay. I, I haven't had a, that many experiences with asymmetric gameplay. So I really enjoyed that experience. So I know this is a step up. Like I know Merchant's, Merchant's Cove was pretty light. Um, but I, you know, I'm willing to give this a try now. Um, cause I mean, the theme is just draw me. I mean, you got critters. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I'm looking forward to trying this. I, I really, really excited about this one. Okay. And it's really hefty. Ugh. Okay, guys, <coughs> where to go? Where to go? Let's do Azul. So, uh, we actually got this maybe, gosh, I don't know. Was it a couple months ago at this point when we went to Orlando area and we went to visited a couple board game stores down there. We wanted to get one game from each store and we actually don't have Azul, which I know we talked about this before. You think we would have played it or cause you know, Justin's really big abstract game. I like him too. Azul, everybody knows Azul. A lot of people have played Azul, but we just haven't yet. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to come, it's going to happen soon. Um, I just, I know Justin's going to like it. So, and pieces are cool. So that's Azul. Okay. So here's one. Ugh. I think it's, let's see, I kind of forgot this glare here. I think it's a Yido, Yedo, Yido. I'm not sure. Um, so this one, my brother, I believe, purchased for me. Um, and I honestly don't really know much about it. I haven't gotten, I haven't really pulled the rule book out yet. Um, I mean, it kind of looks cool. I don't know if you can see the back there. I mean, it kind of looks cool. Two to five players. I just, I'm, I'm not, I don't really know much about it. I know the board, I remember pulling the board out and it looked really gorgeous. Lots of vibrant colors and stuff. So I might have to check this out. I just haven't been able to do it yet. Um, I may like it. I mean, looks cool. So we'll see. Um, okay, let's, uh, we gotta find some room. Okay guys, let's pull one from over here. 
All right, New York, 1901, uh, Blue Orange Games. So this was one of my brother's games. Um, have not tried it, obviously, because on this list. Uh, I think, I, I think, well, so I think it's like a city building game. I've discovered, I'm just not huge into city building games. I don't know, I just never, I, I played some, like, like Quadropolis, I think it's kind of city building, maybe. Um, some other, I don't know, some other ones I've played, I just never, yeah, I don't know, it's not, that's why it's been, this been, it's been sitting around for a while, because, but it's one of those, like, I want to try. I want to try before I let it leave the collection, but I'm just still not sure. So, let me know in the comments if you played this one. Do you like this one? Um, because I, I'm curious, I'm curious to know. I'm curious to know your opinion, because I don't really know much about it. Um, I think I've heard some decent things about it, but I'm just not sure. But it's one of those, like, I just want to try before I, like, decide to let it go. Who knows, maybe I, maybe I really like it and want to keep it. Or maybe just don't really like it. Um, so that's that. All right, so this one, uh, this was a recent acquisition, so it's, it just hasn't been able to play yet, but been played yet. Uh, but it's going to be, it's up on the high priority because, need I explain, pretty, animals, yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's Meadow by Rebel Studio. Okay. <laughs> oh, is it glare? Empires of the North. Yes, I know. I need to play this. This was a Christmas present because I, I just really wanted to get this game. But alas, haven't been able to play it yet. Um, I, I just, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this one. Uh, so I can't tell if there's a glare. Well, I'll figure this out there. I don't think, I think that's fine. So, and I'm curious. I mean, I, you know, I know they have a bunch of different factions and stuff. So uh, I'm really excited to try it. And we'll find out. Okay. Um, what else, guys? All right. Let's. So speaking of city building, I think this is another city building game. Suburbia by Bezier Games. Um, I don't know, guys. This box just just does not speak to me. This cover just it doesn't doesn't say play me. Um, but I know some people absolutely love this game. I know they came out with a newer edition recently. I don't know, collector's edition or an anniversary edition. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just not sold that I'm going to like this. But I'm, I just, I got to try it once before. You know, so. Yeah, so again, kind of with that, with, uh, with this New York 1901 game. Let, let me know if you guys like this game. What are your thoughts? Give me some, uh, give me some feedback. Cause I, or some motivation to play it. Because I'm like... Uh, I mean, met you get you get like metal or suburbia like this calls me this doesn't so but I need to play it guys I need to play it I know it's um a pretty a somewhat popular game so I, I just need to play it okay guys all right eminent domain that this literally just was added to our collection um found out found a or, or a, another board game store opened up in town. Or, or I guess I should say they, they moved into a humongous building. Super excited. I mean, it's it's huge, guys. It's huge. And I can't believe it's here um, in Florida, in Gainesville, Florida. So I went ahead and bought a game there to support that local game store. And this is one that's been on my list for a little while. Uh, it's kind of spacey, so... You know, that's kind of my jam and some deck building and have like some spaceships in there and it just looks really cool and like what I'm going to like. So I'm really excited about that one. Okay. We got just a few more, <laughs> just a few more. And then that will be part one. Okay. So Merchant's Cove, the Dragon Rancher. I haven't tried this expansion yet. Um, so this still needs to be played. So I got... The base game and and this expansion, I did not get the other two expansions. Um, and we got this from a local game store. It wasn't through Kickstarter. Um, the other two expansions I wasn't really interested in. This one, the Mancala mechanism, I thought maybe Justin would like. I mean, I probably like too. So I was really interested. I mean, you got and you got like dragons and stuff. So I mean, that's kind of cool being a dragon rancher. So I just I just still need to try uh, this 
this uh, expansion with the base game. All right, so moving right along. Oh, this one, guys, is beefy. <sighs> yes, yes, I need to play this. I need to play. Um, Caverna the Cave Farmers. Um, I've only heard a million good things about this game. I know I'm gonna like it. I like big crunchy games and this has tons of pieces in it and that's up my alley. I love components. <sighs> One to seven, you know, I, mm, I need to see. I'm not sure if, if the solo mode is like a bunch of different rules or if they just kind of tweaked it so you can play, play it solo. Cause I've been having a hard time finding, you know, Justin's just not really into <laughs> these big hefty games. So, you know, I got to find Maybe I'll, maybe I'll look into the solo mode and then move from there and try to get someone else to play with me. But I, I know I'm going to love this game, but I just still need to try it. So that is Caverna. Um, okay, let's, let's go over here. This one's a little more recent. Uh, Project L. Um, Justin and I are just super drawn to this game. Uh, I think Justin's going to really like it. Um, the components are awesome, like, it's high quality, really nice stuff. Um, puzzly, I mean, it, it's just, stay tuned, because we're pro I'm certain we're going to do a review for this one, hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, yeah, it, this just, this just screams to both me and Justin. I think we're both going to love this game. So, yep, puzzly, abstract, cool, yeah, Project Ale. One, two, three. Three more for this, this video. Okay, guys? So let's do Viticulture Essential Edition. Yes, this is a somewhat more recent one as well. We went down south um, to different board game stores. This is one I bought from a different store. And I know I need to try it because I love worker placement. I know this is like super raved about. Um, also with the Tuscany expansion, which I do not have, but um, I'll play this and then, you know, maybe go from there, look into Tuscany, we'll see. Um, but I love worker placement. I've heard a million good things about this. I have, you know, I, there's a handful of Stellmeyer games that I like, so I'm like, you know what, Let, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. So, all right, let's go with, all right. A Game of Thrones, the board game, second edition. Now, um, three to six players. It's, you know, a big, a big map there. I don't really know a whole lot about this. This was like super cheap at one of our local game stores. They had like a yard sale kind of, and we're just getting rid of, getting rid of, getting rid of some games. Uh, so I looked this up. I saw that it was a pretty decent rating on BGG. Um, I looked inside, it looks kind of cool. The board looks cool. Um, I'm interested in trying it. Uh, so yeah, super cheap. I was like, why not? We'll see what happens. And if not, then well, we'll let it, let it move from our collection. But um, just haven't gotten around to it, especially because all the COVID craziness and three to six players and yeah. So I feel like we just, yeah, haven't got around to it. But I've got some friends who are interested in playing this. So hopefully someday, someday soon. <laughs> Last one for this one, guys. Ugh. This one. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this is driving me nuts. So, so dusty. Okay, Lords of Hellas. I do not, well, I'm having trouble getting everything to like to fit in here. Um, uh, this was one that we kind of traded in. Actually, I think it was through Board Game Co., I think. I think we sent, sent in some games and got this one. Just still just haven't gotten around to playing it. Um, I want to. I, I think I'm gonna like it. Um, this is, I don't have a lot, we don't have a lot of games that have like miniatures in it and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna like this one though. Um, the setting kind of looks cool. So uh, the board, the board looks awesome. I mean, it's just so vibrant, really cool looking. I think I'm gonna like it. I got some friends who really want to play it, um, so hopefully soon, hopefully soon. Um, yeah, have you guys tried this one? Let me let me know. I'm curious um, if, what y'all think about it. Yeah. But yeah, I have a hard time 
fitting everything in here. I gotta, I gotta re rework it. I'm gonna set that off here. Oh, actually, okay, guys. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen games, and these are like hefty, big, you know, sprawling games, not like you know, small card games. These are, yeah. So um, that's a lot of games. Uh, some of them I'm like not as super excited to try, um, but I but I want to try before I let them leave the collection. I think hopefully I'm hope I'm really hoping to start a Keeper Cole video series um, in the near future where I kind of play through a lot of our games on the shelf that we need to play and decide whether we want to keep or gold them. Um, so yep. Yeah, so this is just part one. Stay tuned for at least part two, three, four, probably at least another three videos of this because we got other places and yeah. So, um, so if you want to see more content like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Um, we're definitely going to be releasing some more of these videos for sure because we got more games that need to be played. So, uh, yeah. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining joining me here and seeing all the games that we need to play. And some really, really good ones here. I know, even though we haven't played it, I just know I'm going to like it. I know it. I can feel it. So, yeah, guys. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Happy gaming and adios.